Bereshit, Genesis 17. And when Avram was 90 years old and nine, Yahuwah appeared to El Avram and said unto him, I am El Shaddai, walk before me and be perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and you and will multiply you exceedingly. And Avram fell on his face, and Elohim talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be a father of many nations. Neither shall your at the name any more be called Avram, but your name shall be Avraham, for a father of many nations have I made you. And I will make you exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come out of you. And I will establish at my covenant between me and you, and your seed after you, in their generations, for an everlasting covenant, to be Elohim unto you, and to your seed after you. And I will give unto you and to your seed after you at the land wherein you are a stranger, at all the land of Kinaan for an everlasting possession. And I will be their Elohim. And Elohim said unto El Avraham, You shall guard at my covenant, therefore, you and your seed after you in their generations. This is my covenant, which ye shall guard between me and you and your seed after you. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. And ye shall circumcise at the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a sign of the covenant betwixt me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you. And every man child in your generations, he that is born in the house or bought with money of any stranger, which is not of your seed. He that is born in your house and he that is bought with your money must need to be circumcised. And my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And the uncircumcised man-child whose et flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people. He has broken at my covenant. And Elohim said unto El Avraham, As for Sarai your woman, you shall not call at her name Sarah I, but Sarah shall her name be. And I will bless her and give you a son also of her. Yea, I will bless her and she shall be a mother of nations. Kings of people shall be of her. Then Avraham fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto him that is a hundred years old? And shall Sarah, that is ninety years old, bear? And Avraham said unto Elohim, O oh, that Yishmael might live before you. And Elohim said, Sarah, your woman, shall bear you a son indeed. And you shall call at his name Yitzhak, and I will establish at my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. And as for Yishmael, I have heard you. Behold, I have blessed him, and will make him fruitful, and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. Et, but my covenant will I establish with Et Yitzhak which Sarah shall bear unto you at this set time in the next year. And he left off talking with him, and Elohim 
went up from Avraham. And Avraham took at Ishmael his son, and at all that were born in his house, and all that were bought with his money, every male among the men of Avraham's house, and circumcised at the flesh of their foreskin in the selfsame day, as Elohim had said unto him. And Avraham was ninety years old and nine when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. And Yishmael his son was thirteen years old when he was circumcised at in the flesh of his foreskin. In the selfsame day was Avraham circumcised and Yishmael his son. And all the men of his house, born in the house, and bought with money of the stranger, were circumcised with him.